Now the latest on the coronavirus pandemic. The numbers are going up as testing expands across the tri-state area. And Pat, as you mentioned, this was expected. It absolutely to be expected. And New York State, because of increased testing, now reporting more than 12,000 cases of the virus. Unfortunately, 70 people have died. New Jersey, over 1,300 reported confirmed cases of COVID-19, and 16 people have died in the Garden State. Connecticut has 223 cases, and four people have died, though, of course, more people have recovered than have lost their lives to this illness. Looking forward here by Monday night, most of the 32 million people in the Tri-State area will be under self-quarantine orders. Connecticut starts tomorrow. New York's order will go into effect tonight. And we mentioned expanded testing. Well, a drive through site's about to open up in Manhattan, and that's while hospitals just brace for what could be a crush of patients. State News' Catherine Craig is at Pier 88 over on the west side with those details. Kat? And Pat and Gus, you can't miss it. That sign that says Pier 88. This is very close to the Intrepid. Where we are, this is 48th Street and the West Side Highway. This is where that testing site will open about 8 o'clock this morning. 350 tests will be given. And something else that we're hearing, as you said, from medical personnel, that their supplies are dwindling. Taking a look at this, a letter went out to staff members at New York Presbyterian Hospitals. That letter is saying that they only have enough supplies to give staff members one mask each. The chief of surgery warned of alarming conditions, saying in less than a month's time, the hospital have reached its peak. We heard also from Mayor de Blasio giving that two-week time frame, saying that's when much-needed supplies will be gone if we don't get federal help. Governor Cuomo says the state has committed this. One million N95 masks to New York City hospitals, also 500,000 N95 masks to hospitals on Long Island, and then six Thousand ventilators. Governor Cuomo said this as well. We are literally scouring the globe looking for medical supplies. And companies like Haynes have promised to manufacture masks for medical personnel. The beverage company, which makes Absolute Vodka and Jameson products, Pernod Ricard says it will also make hand sanitizers. And then again, Pat and Gus, where we are, Pier 88 on Manhattan's west side. This is where that testing site will begin. Operations set to start about 8 a.m. Reporting live, Catherine Craig, Weekend Today in New York.